Okay, this is my MOSFET shield. I had a friend who needed to control a pump and a solenoid, and uh, it takes a little bit more amperage than the Arduino can provide, so we used some MOSFET transistors to control the load, and so I decided to whip him up a, a little shield. Uh, the shield has three MOSFETs on it, uh, three outputs, they're PWM, connected to the Arduino pins 3, 5, and 6. Um, you have the ability to either bring in your power through the t a terminal here, which can be up to 30 volts DC, or you can bring it in through the Arduino jack, which can take up to about 12 volts DC. Uh, if you're coming in through the jack, uh, it powers the Arduino through the V inline and the uh, it's got its own 5 volt regulator. If you come in through the terminal, uh, the Arduino is powered from the VN line again. This time it's being supplied by 9 volts from a, um, a 7809 transformer. So let's, uh, and then that is the power selection is based on this jumper here. It can either be the terminal or the jack. And then I've got an LED that shows that the board's being powered, and I've got an LED that shows when each of the Outputs is being powered, and then since, of course, a lot of times your inputs or your outputs are being um, triggered by inputs, I've got uh, some inputs here with some smaller terminals for A2, A3, A4, and A5 if you need to um, to do that. So let's, for a little demonstration of using the load here, I've got a computer a cooling fan. It's a 12-volt fan. It pulls uh, about 600 milliamps. That's not a terribly large load, but uh, as far as Arduino is concerned, it's far more than it can power. So I've got it hooked up to my output for pin 5. I'm going to power it with 12 volts regulated coming in off the uh, uh, to the jack. Got my jumper set to jack, so that'll provide 12 volts DC to VN, which uh, powers the Arduino through its own uh, regulator and then provides the 12 volts to the uh, MOSFET and then I've actually put in a, a potentiometer here I'm using pin A4 to supply the voltage to the potentiometer I'm using pin A5 to measure the voltage and I'm using the other pin as the ground and so I can provide and so this uh, is reading the analog value on A4 or eight, I'm sorry, five, and it's providing a pulse width modulated output through the uh, MOSFET through the output, and you can hear it. Um, you can wind it all the way up and down. So that's just a little example of how to control a load that's uh, a little more powerful than uh, Arduino can handle. Um, some other examples I can think of is like using a light. Uh, detector to turn on and off a fan or a light and um, the other thing we've done so the uh, the 7809 and the number three MOSFET here are set up so that you can put a heat shield on them if you're drawing more current than uh, draw drawing enough current to heat them up then you can uh, just put one of these inexpensive little heat shields on them to pull away the, the heat all right, well, I hope that's useful for some people. It's a neat little application for an Arduino. And thanks for watching.